Simple Voice Chat is one of those plugins that on the surface seems really, really difficult to understand and install on your server, but I'm here to show you how easy it can be in this super easy to follow tutorial. The Simple Voice Chat plugin is one of those plugins that can seem really difficult to install on the surface, but once you know how to do it, it's really simple. And I'm here to make it a super simple process for you to install the Simple Voice Chat mod on your ShopBite server or really any server. Talking of ShopBite servers, they have sponsored this video and if you want to get 25% off your first month of your ShockBite server, then make sure to use the ShockBite link down in the description and use code SALMONUP for 25% off your first month. So once you've set up your ShockBite server with code SALMONUP, what you then want to do is select your server type. Now most of you guys are going to be wanting to set up a 1.19.2 server just because that's the latest version, but if you want to set up a server that is earlier for instance 1.18.2 this is a really really good time to make sure that you're going to be installing the correct version so first thing what you want to do is in your server type make sure that you have selected paper so it'll come up as paper mc paper's bigot and you want to select the version that you want to use i wouldn't suggest using auto updating because you want to make sure that you're keeping it to the same version and then update it manually yourself but once you have that version selected and saved what you can then do is go to the link down below and you can go to the simple voice chat downloader now there are a couple of types of simple voice chat this here is the mod version and because we are using using paper we want to be installing the plugin version instead of the mod version so if you are looking up voice chat manually make sure it is the plugin version then you can click on files on curseforge and once you're on this file page scroll down to the version you're using for instance we are using 1.18.2 and that means that this is the version we want to be installing not 1.19 not 1.17 1.18.2 we can see it there we can see it there and we can see it in the game version slot as well so just hit download file and it will begin downloading in just a second once that download has finished you want to come back to your server and you want to stop it so make sure that your server is turned off you can double check in the console if it has stopped so once your server has completely stopped what you then want to do is go into the FTP file access area and put in your multicraft password and log in once you've done that you will then be in your file system and what you want to do is navigate to the plugins file once you have loaded up the plugins file you can then upload a new file that file being the voice chat plugin file that you want to do so just select that one make sure you're uploading to the plugins remember you can submit that one and then that will be uploaded into the plugins file we can then go back and check that that is okay if we scroll down we can see voice chat bucket 1.18.2 and that is perfect. So then what you want to do is go back to the start page and hit restart. And then what you want to do is open up your console and you want to check all of the console messages. And what you want to be looking for is a server IP. And then if you keep looking, you can see that the Minecraft server IP will appear here. And what you want to do is find these last five numbers and copy them. Those five numbers will be the port that you need to use for your voice chat. What you want to do now is let the server load up, make sure that those five numbers are copied. So once the server has turned itself on, we want to use the port that we found further up in the server config. And what we want to do now that the server's up is we want to stop the server. We want to do this because now the server config files have been generated for simple voice chat. We can then go and edit those config files. Now that the server has been stopped, we can then go back to the FTP file access. And once we're in here, we can go back to the plugins folder and we can navigate to the voice chat file that has now been generated. Inside, you can find the voice chat server properties file and you want to edit that. And once we're in here, you want to find this line that says port. What you then want to do is paste in the port that we found from before in the server config over that port so we can see that that has now changed to 25565 rather than it being 24454 as before so we paste that over 
and then we can save that. And what this means is when we play on the server with Simple Voice Chat, the server connects all of the different players through this port, meaning that it will work seamlessly on the server. Once that is saved, we can then go back to the console and we can start up our server again just by hitting restart. Now that the server is back online, we can go back onto Minecraft and we can join this server. And with Simple Voice Chat installed client side in our own mod folder, we can see that it comes to life when I talk and it should be working perfectly for all of you guys on your different servers. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope that this video has helped you all out. If it did help you out, please don't forget to subscribe as it really, really helps the channel out. We're so close to 4,000 subscribers. And with each one of you who subscribes, it greatly benefits the channel. So I just have to thank you all so much. Don't forget when you're setting up your ShockBite server to use code SALMONUP at checkout for 25% off your first month. If you have any more questions, please make sure to put them down in the comment section below and frequently asked questions I will put in the video description. I'll also put links to everything you need in the video description too. We're also going to be using Simple Voice Chat for the new up and coming server Ascendcraft. We're going into season three now and you don't want to miss it over on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash salmon up. You can also find that link down in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like if this video did help you out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.